lesson six radian measure. Now if we take a, a unit circle, we know that the circumference of a circle is two pi r. So C C equals two pi r. That's a unit circle, so the radius is one, so this is the circumference of the circle is just two pi. Now um, so that distance all the way around here, that yellow line is two pi units and the rev a revolution is 360 degrees. So any point in the circle can be ascertained from the um, length of this arc or the angle measure here. So we can say that 2 pi, and we'll say radians, if I write down here, 2 pi radians, which implies the distance around the unit circle, is equal to 360 degrees. So we've got an angular measure uh, relating to a linear measure. And this is very important when we start to graph these functions later on. So now we're going to say that 2 pi radians is 360. Therefore, pi radians. And rather than writing radians each time, I'll just write a little, little c up here for circumference. is equal to 180 degrees. All right. Now as we go through, I'll leave up that little c because you know what I'm talking about. So now we can write in here, this is 180 degrees in here. Right. And we notice that 2 pi, 360 is set down here, we got our 2 pi. Now I'm going to, oh, sorry about that, that was a bit silly. That's pi, isn't that? Right. That's pi. And that's 2 pi down there pi radians, 2 pi radians, okay? Now we'll go through and work out the rest of them. We'll see here that 90 is half of this one, so that's pi and 2. And 45 is going to be pi upon 4. We can see here that uh, 135 degrees will be 3 lots of these, that's 3 pi upon 4. And there. Now we can see that 60 degrees is one third of uh, 180, so that's pi upon 3, which makes this one 2 pi upon 3. We know that 30 is half of 60, so that'll be pi upon 6. And this one's 5 pi upon 6. If you like, just pause the video and finish the rest of these off. All right, so this one's 7 pi upon 6. 225 was 5 pi upon 4. You can easily check this by simply go 5 on 4 times 180 to get the result. 240 degrees is 4 pi upon 3. 270 is 3 pi upon 2. 300 degrees is going to be 5 pi upon 3. 315 degrees is going to be 7 pi and 4. 330 is 11 pi and 6. Last one. All right. Now we'll be using these when we, when we graph these functions from 0 to 360 degrees. Okay, so here's some examples. But just remember that pi is 180. Keep that in mind. So we need, we need to convert that into degrees, which now becomes so be the sine of 60 degrees. And the sine of 60 is root 3 on 2. Here again, because the minus, we write that as the cos of now 3 pi upon 4 is 135 degrees either by just knowing it or going 3 times 180 divided by 4 and that's going to equal 1 on root 2. Is it? No, because 135 is negative in the second quadrant. So it's minus 1 on root 2. Okay. Now this one, that's the tan of 30 degrees and the tan of 30 degrees is simply 1 on root 3. Or if you want to rationalise it, that'll be root 3 on 3. 
but that's fine. Right, part three, find the exact value of the cosec of pi upon two. Now, what we'll do is change that into 90 degrees first. So we'll have that as equals the cosec 9 degrees. Now remember the cosec is the reciprocal of the sine, so that's 1 over the sine of 90 degrees. Sine 90 is 1, so that answer is just 1. And the sec, that's the sec of that is 7 pi upon 4. Right, that's the sec of 315 degrees. Which is 1 over cos of 315 degrees. Now the cos of 315 degrees is positive 1 on root 2. And when you do that reciprocal, that is just root 2. Now the cot. Now the cot takes the same value as the sine, oh sorry, the tan, so that'll be minus the cot of 7 pi upon 6 is equal to 210 degrees. Okay, and that's equal to minus 1 over the tan of 210 degrees. Which is minus 1 over now 210, it's positive in the third quadrant. So the tan of 210 is the same as tan of 30 degrees, which is minus 1 over 1 over root 3, which is minus root 3.